Right to weather because okay, it feels like December. Yeah. It kind of felt like December. Yesterday, Shelby, take a look at this radar. This is from midnight Friday. So this is when we were sleeping before waking up Friday morning. All of this rain. Ready? We're going to hit play. And then this is just going to go through the morning. 4 a.m., 5, 6, 7, still raining, 8, 9, and then we clear out. So all of that rain that was dumped overnight into Friday morning really added up. Some locations well over 3, 4 inches across the first coast. Much needed. While well, it seemed like a lot of rain, the soaker was much needed and we could say drought buster. Look at this green here, right? This was where the majority of the rain had fell. And it's exactly where it needed to go. This is where the driest locations were here on the first coast dealing with that severe drought. So that's some good news. This updates every Thursday. So I think by the time we're waking up Friday morning, when we get the latest numbers in, we're going to see some improvements to our drought conditions across the first coast. If you don't like the clouds today, we'll call it a gloomy, dreary day. If you like the clouds like myself, I'm going to call it a beautiful day today. If you're playing around in my favorite game, that is find that cloud it is an easy one to do. So out at the coast breeze picks up elevated high tide around 10, 15, 10, 30. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, no really big time weather issues to be dealt with today as this system is a big one. It wraps up, pulls up the East Coast, pumps in the surf, the wind, the rain for the entire East Coast and really just gives up that cloudy day. They stick around all day today. Temperatures in the 50s. We dry out later on this afternoon, but the clouds stay around. Sets up a chilly night too into Sunday morning. Oh man, upper 30s, low 40s, but then high pressure builds in. We get the sunshine to return Sunday afternoon and it is a beautiful, much needed week ahead.